Simplice was uh, lifting as a guest today, so uh, but he would have won the gold, obviously, if he had done the qualifying. But look, you, it's been such a difficult year for you, hasn't it, this year? Very difficult for me because, first of all, I lose my father. So, well, that dropped me 75% of my, my power down. And I was getting ready for Fiji. And eventually I have to cancel that to go back home and bury my dad. So, well, it was very, very hard. So lucky the Australia Wellington Federation give me a hand and support me, where I'm very thanks for them for them. And I came back now, came back being sick, been having malaria from there. And it, eventually they took me already two weeks to get my body back because I dropped down to 92 to 75 kilo. So it was very, very, very hard for me to go back on track. And I already thanks again Victoria Institute of Sport with the nutrition who helped me to put my body back on. So eventually I just wear 91 last week. So by 991 I say, oh, give it a go same place and see how your body feels. That's why they decided to lift today like a guess. And I know you've also you had been battling a hand injury as well. Do you cut your hand? Yeah, oh, well, this hand was, well, eventually when I came back from country, well, my mind was not right and concern for everything. It mean everything I touched was just you not know, do right properly because I did not set my mind. But the only thing to set my mind back on track was lift the weight, have a mindset, competition set. So that's probably why even on that hand cutting off, I decided I have to lift the weight because I have to support my country. You know? So where are you at now? Obviously you're, you're in the mix now for world, for going to the Commonwealth Championships. You want to go there and lift? Yeah, this one is, is like Commonwealth Game Chances. It's mean, well, I have to join the team. I have to join the connection, the international competition again. So bring my body back on a good, strong competition. Like this happened like last year in Malaysia. It happened the same. Fighting to get qualified. Eventually went to Malaysia, Commonwealth Game Championships in Malaysia where I was struggling to clean 185 and snatch 145. Then over there, when we went to Scotland, people there would just say, oh, I don't know how to win. It was very surprised with my performance in Scotland. So eventually I get a little test again and say, I'm still me. <laughs> Whatever happened in my life is still me. Yeah. You're certainly, you're due for a change of luck though, aren't you? I mean, if you look back at Glasgow last year and that uh, heartbreaking decision which, which took that gold away from you and then you've had all these setbacks this year. Yeah, Scotland was very, very, very hard, a little bit disappointing because, well, eventually everyone saw on the TV and internet and everywhere, even the jury, so how this guy touched his elbow. But even after the competition, the guy come and say simply, it's not my fault, I just follow what I have to say. So I apologise that I, I expect that. But eventually, the, when the judge did the decision, is the judge, they know what is right, what is good. They're the one who stay, stand up on the front of the lifter. So if they say too red, too white, they have to accept that. So, so I mean, this one gives me a little bit disappointed. That's why my last lift, I didn't want to lift because even my time, they didn't reset my time. They would keep going. So by 10, 10 minutes, they asked me to jump on the platform and lift to 200, one kilo. So I, would, I said to the court, it is. I can't be that, I can't be ready. Uh, and that's why I decided to pull out. But eventually, the last, another come over game is Ian Gold Coast. So it's mean I have to fix that mistake for the guy. I have to show him how to lift the weight. And that's why I'm get prepared now. Uh, well, we all know what you're capable of. Uh, and, and we're looking forward to seeing you back to your very, very best in lifting and, and doing some great stuff for Australia. I mean, even uh, next year, the Olympic, they're going to be tough a little bit, but they're going to be good challenging because I just have a demon and Francis to fight where I know is I know already, I know them already, I know their performance. So everything is mental and, and experience. So I'm gonna play on that. <laughs> good luck Simple, it's good to see you again. Thank you so much. <laughs>